Hello beautiful Pisces. Welcome. This is your Cross Watchers video. Top secret. Their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and their actions. So we have your person coming in with a lot of passion. Ace of Wands. That is what they're thinking about at this time. They also see you as a person who's very good looking. You look great. You take care of yourself. You're a person who's very successful. They see that you have a high level of wisdom and success in your life. They're not really sure how open you are to investing with them, but they are going to make an approach. So Pisces, what do we have? Ooh, here we have some player energy. A lot of passion, Sagittarius. It's all about having fun. It's all living in the moment. It's very much the energy of, you know, here today, gone tomorrow, but I'll be back. Okay, so let's see what they feel in their heart space. Ooh, your person feels left in the cold. <laughs> well, with this energy, I could kind of see where some of you would leave your person in the cold or the person that you're asking about. Look at this. They do have a big cup of love for you. They feel very romantically towards you. I really think that you're not paying attention to them, Pisces. I think you're like sort of, you know, I'm over here doing my thing. When you want to come and give me come and give me something more substantial, then that's what I think that they feel that you're saying to them. Yep. They feel as though their first pass was a a whiff, right? That's like when you take a swing at a baseball and you completely miss it. You don't come anywhere near the baseball. So they do feel as though they have failed. They feel as though they, they you shot them down. And then already a cycle has ended with you. And in their heart space, they feel crushed about it. Okay, so their intentions, hmm, their intentions may be to let you go. That is Scorpio energy. So we have Pisces here you are in your reading. We have Virgo, we have Sagittarius, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus energy, we have Fire Sign energy, we have Scorpio energy, we have Aries, and we have... The Nine of Wands. Your person's very defensive. They're pretending. <laughs> when we get the Aries Emperor, this person is playing it cool, but they have a big chess piece, and it means that they're playing chess at a higher level than most people do. So though they feel as though you've cut them loose, it's almost like they're walking away from you like, okay, Pisces doesn't want me. I'll retreat. You know, they've made it really clear, but they still have a fire burning in their belly for you. Okay, so what are their actions going to be? Because this person does not look like they take no for an answer very easily. Well, they're at a crossroads. They have to figure something out, Pisces. Definitely have to figure out a solution. The moon card, wow, they feel very much... They don't know whether you even like them. <laughs> they don't know whether you like them. This is Pisces energy. They have no idea whether you're playing coy or whether you kind of like them or whether you don't like them at all. <laughs> They're coming after you. There's still going to be one of the people who come after you. They see you as highly desirable. They feel as though they're going to have to compete for you. This is you up here, Pisces. Calm, cool, collected. Let's see what this person's energies are coming into this in terms of what they can really give you. Because we see what they want, and you, it looks like you have shut them down. You shut them down hard. <laughs> so what were they doing? The sun card, they were all about fun. Well, you know, you're appreciative of fun, Pisces. You like sun as much as, and fun as much as anybody else. But you want a caring connection. And this person didn't come across to you in a way that said that they were really in any kind of, uh, you know, in any kind of method were they going to give you that. They were just coming in, oh, let's just go have fun. But you're very much about happy family. You want a caring connection. So let's go ahead and clarify what this person is going to do in reaction to you shutting them down. You shut that door. You shut it hard. Look at this. <laughs> they were crushed. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why were they so feisty with you? Ooh. They feel... This person has some sort of feeling of love towards you. 
They have a lot of passion towards you. The Queen of Cups is love. So they came in to offer love and passion, but they only told you about the passion part. Okay. The Ten of Wands. They feel as though they, they were told to sort of get lost. So <laughs> that's how they feel about you. Like, well, you know, here I was on my journey, and I went up to Pisces, and they, they said, take a hike. So I guess I don't have a choice. All right, why is the player energy here? The Knight of Wands energy can be fun. It's somebody who's good looking, who gets a lot of attention, who likes to play at romance. They romance for the purpose of having the physical connection. But this is their heart space also. So we have two cups of love here. This is a really big cup. This person's coming in very open with their heart to offer you love. And um, it just looks as though their approach was a little too sassy, a little bit too, you know, come on-ish. It was a little bit too assertive, maybe, a little bit too sexy in terms of how they spoke to you. The temperance card, they're going to try again. You know, when we see this, we see somebody locked out, but there's a big key, and there's the place to put the key, but they're not paying any attention. So there is a path in their heart space. They... They're looking up from that, that door that's closed. They are a little bit fearful, <laughs> the Four of Pentacles. They're fearful of making an approach towards you again. In their heart space, oh, they just feel like you're the one for them. But again, they don't feel as though you want them in the least. That moon card really says that you have not given them any signs that you would accept an approach. So in their heart space, they're feeling shut down, but still desirous of figuring something out to approach you. Why is the judgment card here? Well, your person, your person is somebody that thinks that they blew it with you that they weren't really straightforward, they weren't honest, they acted a little sneaky, and that you were like, poof, gone, like a witch, doom, you know? Um, they feel very much as though they've been foiled in their approach to you. Now they're watching your social media, now they're trying to figure out the chess piece, this is their intention, is to try to approach you again in a way that can give them some success to be their lover. <laughs> They have to make a choice, though, to be straightforward and honest with you. So that is their intention at this time, is that they know that they, they're going to have to level up with you. Two of Swords says that in terms of their actions, I would say for the next two weeks they really won't do much. Then they look like they're underwater. Why is that here? A remorse and regret about the way they approached you. The Seven of Wands, though, says that they make an approach, they start competing for you is the outcome of their actions. Tell us about that Seven of Wands. They're going to try to come around again. Eight of Wands. Oh, they plan on a victory. This person is not to be deterred. Let's see what they think about your the Sun card with you, about how you want to be happy. How do they think about that? The Tower card. Well, for some reason, they thought that they could sort of sidestep Oh, well, look at that, single and ready to mingle. Maybe Pisces is, you know, just available for a good time. Well, they found out that they got thrown out on their ear, that, that you want somebody who's going to invest in you. Here they are. Here's a person who's going to invest. Now we have them in this energy of going from being romantic and being a little bit flaky and being all about the passion. Now we have the Leo King. The Leo King is, you know, has a lot of pride. This person has a lot of dignity. When we get to the kings, they are married men. So your person now sees your value, and now they're going to approach you in a way that shows that they care about you. It's not going to, they have to tell you they feel about their intentions with a happy family card and winner, winner, chicken dinner. This person is going to come at you the right way, but they sure didn't the first time around. So let's see what else the uh, Wizard of the Oracle has to tell you about this connection. Oh, it changes in the wind. Oh, 
I love it. Pisces, you really do think this person has some sexy characteristics. You do find them attractive. New life, okay. You're open to it, but they have to come at you the right way. So that's your reading, Pisces. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.